Okay. So copy this and uh, take the same thing. And uh, just you just change the page name. And these elements in your we are going to change it. First, you need to log in. So let's go and log in with this username, password. Then you can log out. Otherwise, you cannot log out, right? So let's go here. Login first. And, uh, email. That's for. So this is the login. So we have logged in. So first you have to click on this to get the logout. Okay. So that's the logout details you need to give it here. So first, um, why didn't we first that one, okay? First my account, you have to identify. So click on logout and you can click on but still, this is a my account base, not a logout. So you click on logout, then you will come here. This is the logout, actually. So this is the logout. Even you can get this uh, logout uh, uh, page URL and then uh, logout uh, header. Even if you want this page title, also you can get. And then this continue button, right? So first, let, let's identify this one. Same header uh, content uh, h1. So you can write uh, hash content uh, h1, you can write. H1. See, this is the one you can write. Already here it is. So you can say simply logout, account logout header. Account logout header. So then, We have a continue button. Right? Just a continue button is class A dot class. Right? So that is the one. And then we have. What else we have here? So you can, if you want this message also, you can put that message. Account logged off message. You can put this message also. So hash and P. You can put a, instead of H1, you can put P. So we can put account logged off 
message, we can say something. Account logged out message. Account log out, right? Account log out. Log out or logged off? Logged off. So name, it's up to you, but a relevant name you provide. Okay, relevant name you provide. Otherwise, you know, it will get confused. So exact uh, the element, it should match. It should match the element. Again, uh, same, you no. Know, uh, so, these exist, um, you have to check it. So is account uh, log of message exist. Then account log of header. So those are the two methods. See, each element one method must be there. Okay. Oh, this name we didn't change. Okay. So this is the continue button, right? Continue button. So then click on continue button. Okay, so these are the functions. And also if you want, you can get the page title also, page URL also, All it's up to you, what you want. So uh, this is the extra methods if you want, you can develop. So public string, so get, Logout page title. So I can wait for page load. Return get title. So that's all uh, this log of page. So let's move on to the next my account page. Okay, so my account page is another very important one, right? So let's develop my account page. My account page. So how can you navigate to my account page? You need to log in, right? You need to log in. So let's log in one by one. But all the elements you have to identify. So let's see, uh, same, we can uh, 
Yeah, whatever you want, you just you know copy paste these things. These things are common. Some elements I'm taking, so saving the time. That's it. Other than that, nothing. So my account pays, replace, replace. So and you can. Identify the elements one by one. So log in first, okay? So once you log in, we will come to know that. Um, so this is the my account page. So login is already done. So here what what we need to identify this search edit box so, and this my account uh, menu under this all these elements you need to get this entire elements. You have to get all these elements. Then each section headers, you get all the section headers. Then each section number of links. So you can get a list of elements. So this is the, you uh, know, uh, so let, let's write at least, you know, a few of them. Okay. Uh, see, after login, what, what will happen? So you will find first let let's find out this my account menu. So if you see here my account menu. So you have to write uh, it is starting from here, right? So do U L L I two A, right? So that's the so you can start from here. I didn't feel that. You can write X path. So dim square bracket at the rate ID equal to so ID value. So ID value is top links. So then after this div, next UL is there. So slash UL slash LAF2, right? Slash A. slash ul slash la of 2a so this is the one thing so next so that's the so complete element right if you want you can just check this so whether this is correct or not always before writing there you check here so it is identifying or not see one element matching that's a top one highlighting Top one highlighting. We can take that. Okay. That's how you need to write the object identifications. So, web element, my account uh, menu, my account menu. My account menu. So next, identify this search edit box. You have a name, so let's take name. Search edit box.
search edit box. Next we have search read box, search start second. So that also you identify. So class is there. You can take a class and based on the class you can identify. So I'm going to write CSS only. So button square bracket plus equal to as well. Search. So touch again. Just write. Search touch again. Switch touch again. So that's it. Um, so we will write, we'll continue tomorrow. Then we'll uh, finish other pages. By next week, uh, we can close. Okay. So tomorrow we'll uh, meet and we can now uh, finish. How many pages left now? One, two, three, and three and a half pages. Maybe you can consider this as a four pages. Four pages we have written, four pages left. Maybe another, uh, so one or two days. You can finish the page design. Once page design is the main crucial. And uh, if test data is there, test data preparation is the main. Another uh, no work generally automation tester will get. Then test cases. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.